Well, hello, everyone. Sorry for the hello, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've had a day. Uh, <laughs> Um, uh, pro tip, uh, make sure you plug in your electronics after you travel. Mm -hmm. Cause if you don't, they're dead. <laughs> For anyone wondering what that means, I went, I traveled with my switch a couple of weeks ago and I put it on the dock to charge, but I didn't put the charging cable back on the dock. <laughs> so, it was dead as a doornail there for a little bit. Um, <laughs> but, uh, so let's get started. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see. So, uh, we are on Undertale. Um, we have beat the cave level. Um, so, basically, uh, yeah, so we bought uh, something from a bake sale. I don't remember what it was that we bought. I don't know. Oh, we bought the cider and the donut. I That's remember right. That. We bought stuff from the spiders. That's all I remember. Yeah, um, and the hopes of avoiding a boss battle later, because that was hard the first time I did it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was being cheap. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we've got found by Toriel um, after falling down um, into this hole. Uh, she took us back and made us butterscotch and. Uh, Oh, what was it? it butter, butterscotch and something pie. It was two very sweet things. Like, it makes my teeth hurt just thinking about it. Um, <laughs> God, what was it? I feel like we picked the other thing. Whatever the other thing was, we picked that. Yes. I don't remember. I don't remember what it was. Um, anyway, so she made us a pie. Uh, brought us into, our, into her home. You know, treated us like her own child. And uh, then we wanted to leave anyways. So we had to fight her. It was sad, and she asked us to never come back. Yeah. After telling us that everyone that leaves never comes back. Mm -hmm. It was sad. Um, and then, yeah, we ran into some spooky skeleton people. Um, so we've met Sans and Papyrus. Papyrus is my favorite. Um, <laughs> get ready for some puns, guys. Uh, <laughs> and yes, we are still pacifists. This is the pacifist route. Um... And I'm using better controllers for this this time, um, so hopefully it won't be quite as painful. Um, okay. Okay, so we'll do a quick save here, just in case. I know that we have saved here. Okay. Um, this is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. I forgot, sorry. Oh, you're fine. The, same the box... text is pretty big, so I can still read it. Oh, good. Uh, the same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. So the cool thing about the box is that I can put whatever I want to into it, um, and when I see a box later, um, I can it will be the same stuff in it that I put in it. Um, That's so cool. We're gonna put uh, the spider cider in there just to make sure that I don't accidentally use it. And of course, it says butterscotch pie, and we can't remember what the other thing was. Um, so let's go up first. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in. Shall we? Sure. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird-looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. Yeah, good choice. <laughs> Are we not monster fuckers in this uh, stream? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sans Papyrus. Okay, so as I was saying about Undine... Also, Papyrus' theme is so. Theme music is so good. I'm thoroughly enjoying how you're saying Papyrus. Oh, is that how you're supposed to pronounce it, Papyrus? <laughs> yeah. I just want to get back to it's so funny because it's such a cheap font. Well, um. <laughs> okay. You can use it however you want. I'm just thoroughly enjoying it. I, I will try to pronounce it the correct way now that I have learned it. You live your best life, man. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's right. Uh, so Sans asked us last time uh, to basically humor Papyrus. I got this. Because um, <laughs> he wants to catch a human to be admitted oh, onto butterscotch. the royal... What was it? Butterscotch. It's butterscotch cinnamon. Oh. It still <laughs> sounds really sweet. It sounds gross. <laughs> All right. Sans, oh my god, is that a human? 
Why, hello. I love how their text dialogue is, like, in their fonts, too. I know, it's Sorry, very cute. I'm gonna <laughs> graphic design nerd out. Like, I hate both of these fonts, but I do appreciate <laughs> <laughs> that their, their words are in their fonts. I think that's really smart. There's a lot of really good attention to detail in this game. Mm-hmm. Uh... Actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! <laughs> Sam, I finally did it! Undine will... I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular! 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 I love him. Ahem. <laughs> Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then... Then... I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue. Only if you dare. <laughs> I love you. Well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Oh my god. <coughs> Excuse me. But look, it was a rock. Okay, so once again, we are being pacifists. Uh, do we want to laugh at it, heckle it, or joke with it? Not a joke. You make a bad ice pun. Is that supposed to be funny? Ooh, that was close. <laughs> He's practicing his next pun. Uh, do we want to laugh, heckle, or joke again? Laugh. You laugh at Snow Drake before it says anything funny. No. What are you laughing at? You have a very interesting face. <laughs> <laughs> Snow Drake is assessing the crowd. Uh, laugh at it again, heckle it, or joke with it again. Oh, God. Heckle? You tell the Snow Drake that no one will ever love the way they are. Oh, no. They struggle to make a retort and slink away utterly crushed. You won! Okay. <laughs> oh, we got exactly what I wanted, but it's okay. <laughs> We got 12 gold from it, it's fine. Uh, there's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Hmm, I wonder who it was. <laughs> Absolutely no moving. And then we move. We're not very good at following rules. Uh oh. When have I ever followed anyone's direction ever? <laughs> <laughs> Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Yikes. All right. Well, shall we pet it? Sure. <laughs> Doggo is too suspicious of your movements. Don't move an inch. Okay, I won't. Doggo can't seem to find anything. You pet Doggo. Yay! <laughs> what? I've been pet! Isn't that technically moving? Doggo has been pet. And he looks like he's ready for mercy. And we got 30 gold for it. Thanks. S S I like getting paid to pet dogs. Exactly. S S something pet me. Something that isn't m moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Hello? Is anybody there? No? I just rung the bell. I forgot you couldn't hear that. <laughs> Someone's been smoking draw dog treats. No. Hey, Sans. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. 
Imagine a stop sign. When you see a, so a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Okay. Do, 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 do. North ice, south ice, west ice, east Snowden Town, and ice. Let's go north really quick. See what's up here. Nice. <laughs> Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Shall we? Sure. Thank you. Good luck. We got the snowman piece. How am I doing? By I, I mean the piece of me I gave you. Eh, not bad. I don't know why I'm so worried about staying on the path. Um, you're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. <laughs> excuses, excuses. Oh, ho, the human arrives in order to stop you. My brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a health, a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. Just gonna go in the same... Oops. Must have gotten too far. Sideways. Incredible, you slippery snail! You solved it so easily! Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else, else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Okay. Blah, 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 blah. I hit the wrong button again. But that's his battle body. The uh, sound effect for Sans's dialogue is a uh, sampled audio from Patrick of uh, Patrick Starr speaking in an episode of SpongeBob SquarePants. Hmm, interesting. I did not know that. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer! Hello, would you like some ice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 gold. You know what? I'm going to buy some. Why the hell not? Here we go. Have a super duper day. And we got some ice cream. Yay. Nice cream. It heals 15 HP. Instead of a joke, the rapper says something nice. Aww. All right. Okay, come on. Can I get across the thing? All right. Let's start kicking around the... Uh... Hey, Sans. I've been thinking about selling treats, too. Want some fried snow? It's just five gold. Do you want some fried snow? Fried snow? I'm only going to say yes because I want him to be our friend. Okay. Did I say five gold? I meant 50 gold. Okay, no thank you. You're right. That's still too low. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to warn you now. I'm very bad at kicking this thing. <laughs> okay. I imagine it's similar to when we had to do the uh, snowman in Animal Crossing. It yeah. also sucked. 
Da -da -da -da. Green, your concern and care for Ball led you to a delicious victory. We got one gold. Wow. So generous. <laughs> Are you going to try to sell me fried snow again? He thinks he should charge more than five gold, too, so... Is. Smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman. White rating. Can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell. Puppy. Blue lit rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans. Green rating. Destroy at all costs. Hers. See, look, it's his and hers cabins. Let's see what... Where else to go? It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. <laughs> Human, I hope you're ready for... Sands, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. It's just a word search. Oh, okay. I was like, what <laughs> kind of code is this? Oh. Uh, Sans, that didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that! In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? That easy-peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder, jumble or crossword? Mm. Crossword. Crossword? <laughs> you two are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill all the boxes with the letter Z. Because every <laughs> time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Papyrus found, finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday, he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> Alright, we've got a save point. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy the spaghetti. Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap, designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it, that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. <laughs> papyrus. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. And we have our mouse hole there. <laughs> Warning, dog marriage. <laughs> Lesser dog appears. No. Shall we pet it? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> um, I think we should. Yeah, no, I bet the other pet, but you know. Oh, sorry. Uh, you barely <laughs> lifted your hand, and Lesser dog got excited. Pant, pant. I love this thing. I know you can't hear it, but it barks. Aww. It's barking excitedly. It's already ready for mercy. We got nothing from it. Aww. Okay, so X marks the spot. You can kind of see if I move some of the shit around. That, uh, this is a map of here, so we need to find the X. Which is so nicely marked here. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click! And the spikes are gone. Uh-oh. 
What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. <laughs> Hmm, here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! Alright, the Dogai have us, are assaulting us. So we have Dogami and Dogaressa. Do we want to pet? Do we want to re-sniff? Or do we want to roll around? Re-sniff? The dogs sniff you again. But you smell just as weird as before. Hmm, what that smell? And smell mystery. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. The dogs are reevaluating your smell. Maybe we want to roll around. Yeah. You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Number two, Nuzzle Champs 98. Of course we were second. Oops. So if you remember correctly, the uh, blue ones don't move during. The dogs may want to re smell you. We have them re-sniff. The dogs sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell all right. What? Smells like a... Are you actually a little puppy? The dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. Those are my only two options. Can I give you mercy yet? Um, all right. Do we want to pet, roll around, or re-sniff? Pet. We haven't done pet yet. Okay. You pet Dogami. Wow! Pet by another pup! Well, don't leave me out! Oops. So this is when I should point out that I'm mildly colorblind. Um, oh, no. <laughs> so I can't really see the blue very well. Uh, all right, uh, so we'll pet the other one too. You pet the dogaressa. What about me? A dog that pets dogs, amazing. Um, can we not? I like that one. It's icky. Ow, damn. <laughs> I'm gonna mess with my TV settings really quick so that I can see. Okay, we'll see if that helps. I do... Uh, one of the reasons why we're doing the uh, pacifist route here um, is because uh, the genocide route um, is... Uh, I can't get past one of the boss levels um, <laughs> because it has a bunch of blue arrows and I can't see them. Um. <laughs> All right, so let's hit the snit, the switch. Let's hit the switch. <laughs> Apparently, snitches get hit too. Um. Okay, so they're gonna sniff us again. We are indeed a weird smell. Alright, so we're gonna roll around first. We smell like a weird puppy! Take my wife's, please. Don't actually. Damn it. Okay, dogs wanna re smell us. After rolling in the dirt, we smell all right. Yes, we are a puppy. I need to figure out where to go on that one. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. um, I can eat the snow piece. Um, God. Still kind of gooey. We got 10 HP. Okay, I don't think going up is where I need to go on that one. Obviously not going down there. Um, what do I need to do? You want to re-sniff me? There I know we smell fine. Oh, I'm 
some ice cream. You're just great. <laughs> I'm not a human, though. Oh, damn it. Okay, the dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. Great. What would you like me to do? Can we roll around again? Well, you still smell like a weird puppy. Have we tried petting them? Yeah, that was what we did last time, remember? Okay, that's right. That was, okay, there uh, we go. Can I just spare you? No. That wasn't it either. Oh. Move too fast on that one. And we'll pet you. Damn it. <laughs> I mean, I'm being able to see what color it is. I still can't see it. Um, <laughs> oh no. Okay, there we go. I know. I know that's what you think. Um, how about totally... you re-sniff? I'm totally aware that they think we're a lost puppy. Yes. Oh, that is close. Um... Oh, I'm not a human. I'm a puppy. Oh, damn it. They may that I may be a lost puppy. Okay. Um how about petting you? Dog's minds have been expanded. There we go. Okay, yeah, so I just, just looked it up and someone suggested roll in dirt, then sniff, then pet. Okay, so we must have and make died. Sure you pet in, both of them. Yeah, we must have died in the last one right before the second pet. Uh, dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. Okay, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to go back to that save spot really quick because it'll heal me. Um. So in case there was any questions, uh, yes, uh, I do have some issues seeing blue. Um, <laughs> there is a reason why I'm clearly not a uh, graphic designer. Um, <laughs> Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. avoid my trap and more importantly is there any left for me what do you tell papyrus about his spaghetti did you did we eat it or love it or sorry did we eat it or leave it we left it really wowie you resisted the flavor of my home cooked pasta just so you could share it with me yeah Fret not, not human. The table. <laughs> I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I thought this was going to be the choice that made him not like us. <laughs> My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. Yeah. <laughs> Human! Hmm, how do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere to be found. I suppose what I am saying is, worry not, human! I, the great papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Okay. Oops. Don't know 
why it suddenly launched me into here, but, um... Interesting. Okay, so there we go. So let's do this a different way. Should not have done that. Uh. <laughs> ah. Okay. Uh. Nope, not don't start from there either. out and around? Yep. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. Wow, you <laughs> solved it! And you did it all without my help! Incredible! I'm impressed! You must care about puzzles like I do! Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you! Yeah, <laughs> Sands. Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. Mood. Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Uh -oh. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Yeah, also, there's gotta be some catch to smell like <laughs> Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? Yeah, I followed all of that. Did you understand the explanation? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it's just a lot. I don't know. Great. Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready. Oh, just a one. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just leaving with flourish. <laughs> Actually, that spaghetti from earlier? It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. The machine isn't working. <laughs> Hello, Sir Doggo. This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. <laughs> On the floor inside is a box of Palmer raisins. Aware of dog. Please pet dog. <laughs> I cannot pet the dog. Oh. Alright, knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't help it that its brain is the size of a piece of, of kibble. Oh. Be nice to it. Okay. Um, this should be fun. Okay, let's start from... You know, I could do that, or let's see what's down here. <laughs> oh, no. It's a snow papyrus. 
It's a lump of snow with the word sans written on it in red marker. Solid. <laughs> okay, so let's... I think I can do this this way. Oh, yeah. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> I am brilliant. No one has ever seen this level of brilliance from me. <laughs> What's up? There's only eyes in the walls and... Say, are you following me? Gift rot confronts you. Do we want to decorate it, undecorate it, or gift it something? Uh, decorate it. You add some googly eyes you found on the ground. Uh oh. Gosh darn teenage googly eyes! Teenage googly eyes. Oh, hello. Ah! <laughs> it stumbles blindly. Decorate it again, undecorate it, or gift it something. I don't, I we actually we, have to give it something if we gift it something? I'm going to guess that not, nothing from our inventory. Okay, well, let's gift something. Gift trot Pres refuses your gift. Oh. How do I know it's not a trick? I mean... Oops. Oops. Ah. We might want to take off the googly eyes. No. Yeah. Okay, so... Leave me alone. You remove the googly eyes. Thanks for nothing! It tries vainly to remove its decorations. Do you want to under-decorate it then? Yeah, I think so. You remove the lenticular bookmark of a smug teen winking. That's a little better. Can you, like, not throw shit at me then? <laughs> it's slightly less irritated. Let's keep undecorating it then. You remove the barbed wire made of pipe cleaner. Cl bleh. Pipe cleaners. Oh, Ooh. damn it. This is not going well for me. Um. <laughs> you remove the striped cane that says I use this tiny cane to walk on it. A weight has been lifted. Mm. His problems have been taken away. Yay. And we got 20 gold for that. It's a door! And I can do nothing else in here. Um, what else do I have? Snowman piece, it heals 45. Please take this to the end of the earth. Please give me a safe spot. Yeah, the, the, yeah, you might want to find a safe spot. That's kind of what I was just thinking too. Woof. What a tiny doghouse! There's something behind that rock. Oh, there we go. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, it's the greater sir. dog. Uh, do we want to pet it, beckon it, play with it, or ignore it? Uh. <laughs> I've learned nothing from D and D. Let's play with it. All right. There was one session where uh, there we had dire wolves come mm -hmm. up on us, and. The DM, my DM was like, oh, what do you want to do? And I was like, pet the puppy! And I almost <laughs> died. So, <laughs> I've learned nothing. <sighs> well, it's not excited to play with. Uh, oh, and it just killed me by barking at me. <laughs> no! <laughs> I've learned nothing.
Luckily, we weren't too far. And I still remember the uh, solution to this puzzle. We won't go down to take a look at that little cavern thing this time. <laughs> There we our go. hubris and our need for puppies. I know. Is our downfall. <sighs> it's a snow puff. And this is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff. Is it really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. Eh? There's 30 gold inside this. What is this? And we know that this one has uh, a friend in it. A very large friend. A very large friend. Very precious friend, though. Look at him. Even his giant armor. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we need to get him excited. So I think we should probably pet him. Maybe? Yes. He's too far away to pet. You just pet the air. Back in. Gotta survive first. Oop, we did. Oh. Oh. It smells like freshly squeezed puppy juice. You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, what? flecking slobber into your face. Whew. I am playing with fire since I can't see that. Uh, it's seeking affection. Shall we pet it? Yes. It curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. It gets Best so friend. comfortable, it falls asleep. Then it wakes up. It's so excited! Oh, damn. It's patting the ground with its front paws. Shall we play with it now? You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater Dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now Dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. He wants some TLC. Shall we pet him again? Yes. Hello. Come on. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. Okay, I'm okay with being smothered by the dog. Mm -hmm. Pet capacity is 40%. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Good puppy. Greater dog is contented. We, and we got 40 gold to play with the dog. Ooh. Hi, puppy. Bye. I'll miss you. We were best friends. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold, the Gauntlet of Deadly Terror! I like the dog. <laughs> I didn't see the dog at first. <laughs> When, oh, I, no. when I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because... I am about to do it! Well, what's the holdup? Hold up? What hold up? I'm... I'm about to activate it now! Mm -hmm. That, uh... Doesn't look very activated. Well! This challenge! It seems... Maybe... Too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one! I am a skeleton with standards! My puzzles are very fair. And my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all! Away it goes. Whew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. 
Ha! Huh? I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Oh, I understand them, I just can't see them. <laughs> Thank you for noticing, though. Uh, <laughs> welcome to Snowden Town. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Alright. How can I help you? Let's, uh... Okay, so we have a tough glove in the thing. Um, we're going to buy ourselves a bandana. Um, let's see... The bicycle heals 11 HP twice, or the cinnamon bun heals 22. Um, let's buy a couple of each. Luckily, we have plenty of. All right, let's chat with her. Hiya, welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillby's has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folks decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door has been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Life is the same as usual, a little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Bye now, come again sometime. Alright, so we are going to save really quick. Um, I am going to equip my manly bandana. And we are going to use our box, because there is a tough glove in there. I have to take out the faded ribbon. Um, okay. Item. Use. I was using a stick before. Alright, so real quick, let's take a look at the end. Well, hello there. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's a maximum HP? Welcome to Snowed Inn, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80 gold. I don't have 80 gold. Well, feel free to come back anytime. I just spent all my money. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. We talking about this lady? Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee. I can see why she might disturb you. <laughs> Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. <laughs> I wonder if that weird skeleton is an adult or a kid. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics! You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and, love and attention. 
That's what I want. <laughs> We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. <laughs> I love the weird teeth monster that's sitting at one of the booths. We'll talk to him, too. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, Attach a leash to me and take me for a, for a walk, please. Good boy. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undine. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. I want to be like her when I grow up. <laughs> Grilbs said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. <laughs> well, I mean, he is fired. He is, yeah. Yeah, the striped shirt equals kid logic does work out. See, yeah. well, I thought of uh, Ness from... Um... Yeah, Earthbound. Earthbound, thank you. Uh, yeah, you. they thought of Steve from Blue's Clues. Yeah, you know. Only children wear striped shirts, apparently. I mean, to be fair, the law. like, after the age of, like, seven, you start finding out that, like, horizontal stripes make you look whiter or something, like... Yeah. Or is... Or, you know, am I the only person that heard that? <laughs> no, that's a very real fashion tip I've heard. Mm-hmm. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they start... Let me try that again. So I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip onto their butts. Hello, Mr. Monster. Hmm. Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. <laughs> I'd love to try it sometime. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and... <laughs> Hi, guys! <laughs> Good small monster. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? That's the spirit. Great. <laughs> Let's play monsters and humans. Oh, that's my seat, thank you. <laughs> uh, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. I don't think they're going to open the door. <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> ah, to be young again. The world sure fe felt boundless. Oh, well, hopefully the Titanic isn't in there. <laughs> Does that count as an iceberg? Let's keep going. The library bee. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. That's the only thing anyone reads anyways, let's be honest. Yeah. That look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? <laughs> When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now! I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground! It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then, their essence will live on in that thing. 
Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. While monsters are mostly, mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the, shoy, the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday, birthday card. <laughs> I know. Like, I feel like I'm being deprived now. <laughs> Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill... Um, let's end the chapter here. Monster History Part 4 Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital. New home. Again, our king is really bad at names? And apparently the uh, ladder keeps me from that one. Um, that's okay, we're not killing anyone, so. I think someone needs to pick up their mail. Uh, it's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside. Huh. Yes? Yeah, fine. Okay. It's fine. It's empty. It's locked. Boo. It's locked from the inside. All right. I think it's getting cold. Serious. Human. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings. They must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... Pause for dramatic effect. No. No. Oh. This is all wrong. I can't be your friend! You are a human! I must capture you! Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way. All right, would we like to flirt with him or insult him? Um. He's our friend. Well, he can't be our friend, that? but. Shall we flirt? Flirt with him. Yeah. What? F f flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. Uh, I can make spaghetti or I have zero redeeming qualities. <laughs> um, spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all my standards! <laughs> I guess this means I have to go on a date with you? Let's date! L later, after I capture you! Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. I think we should flirt with him again. Yeah. This seems to be going well. Oh no! Let's date later, after I capture you! Papyrus is thinking about what to cook for his date. You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. guess we have to insult him. Yes. I don't want to insult him. We're friends. Papyrus stabs some bone cologne behind his ear. Oh. How selfless. 
You want me to feel better about fighting you. I don't deserve such hospitality from you. Papyrus dabs marinara sauce behind his ear. There's no need to lie to yourself. Your barbs hide a hidden affection, you emotional cactus. Uh-huh. <laughs> Papyrus dabs MTT brand Bishy Cream behind his ear. He's got a lot of smells going on. <laughs> Don't! Don't waste your words on me. Look, if he keeps on with this, I am okay with this. Um... Papyrus dabs MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. Shall I start flirting with him again? How many more things can he dab behind his ears? I don't know. He doesn't even have ears, so I click him first. <laughs> I mean, technically, there are holes in your skull, so... Well, yeah, but those aren't... That's not your ears. Yeah. <laughs> it's the canal where your ears were. I'm gonna flirt with him again. You flirt, but to no avail. Okay. I want to fight him, though. I'd be glad to use forever. So you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack! <laughs> Thank you for telling me. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's all blue. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. What? You're blue now. That's my attack! <laughs> You're blue now. Hmm. I wonder what I should wear. Oops. Okay, that's how I jump. I'm still here. I have to get my dogs to stop barking, so I'm going to mute myself for a few moments. Okay. Papyrus dabs MTT brand beauty yogurt behind his ear. Try holding the up button to jump. I figured that one out after you already hit me. Uh, Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Oh, shit. Papyrus remembered a bad joke Sans told and is frowning. <laughs> Hold up okay, longer to jump nothing. higher. Jeez. Papyrus is considering his options. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. What is your special attack, sir? You turned this blue. Maybe that's it? Hey, relax. Uh, Papyrus is considering his options. Um, I'm gonna use a bicycle. <laughs> I can almost taste my future popularity! Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, fight. Thought that was blue. Um, he is cackling. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. But apparently, the neighbor dogs said some shit, because Maverick is not letting go. <laughs> okay, honey. Lay down. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghetti... Spagatore? Yes. Blue. Yeah, I got that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Papyrus is rattling his bones. Undyne will be really proud of me. Yeah, I figured it out. You're too weak. I was easily able to capture you. I will now send you to the capture zone. Or, as Sans calls it, our garage? You're in the doghouse now! <laughs> I'm sure Sam's will just let us out, so... It's a note from Papyrus. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undine, Undine arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. <laughs> Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Yeah, fully yours, Papyrus. Unfortunately, it's just dry food. 
<laughs> it's too small to sleep on. It's a squeaky chew toy. Okay, we're going to uh, save really quick. Good choice. Good choice. Good choice. The sight of such a friendly town fills us with determination. And back. All right, let's go talk to Papyrus again. Oh, where could that human have gone? Wait, it's right in front of me. Hello, I was worried that you had gotten lost. It sure is a relief to know that you're right here. Wait a second. You're not supposed to escape. Get back there. Papyrus blocks the way. I'm gonna flirt with him again. He's too busy fighting to flirt back, damn it. Okay. Okay, so it does work better with the button in case you, in case anyone was thinking about uh, playing this. Oops. Just landed on that one. It's fine. It reminds me of the um, dinosaur game. That pops up when you don't have internet. I know. <laughs> the last summer that I worked uh, at the uh, for Girl Scouts, mm -hmm. the, their camp program, we that's literally like half the time I was supposed to be on my computer doing work stuff. I didn't have internet, so I got very good at that game. <laughs> <laughs> supposed to get past that yeah i don't know can you hit it like multiple times to kind of like i can try the king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears my brother will well he won't change very much Preparing a bone attack. I'll have lots of admirers, but... Oops. He's cackling. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? No. Which is why you shouldn't kill me. Oh, hell. Um... <laughs> Well, you may have clear cleverly escaped from jail before, but this time I've upgraded the facilities. Not only will you be trapped, but you won't even want to leave! <laughs> it's a note from Papyrus. Please ask before you escape. When you went missing, I got worried sick. Slightly bone trussled. Papyrus. There's a hot dog cut up into the kibble. <laughs> Save again. I remember having to try this one a few times, so I don't I don't know if you're supposed to have to do it, and I just suck, or uh, 
<laughs> but also, I love papyrus, so I kind of don't want to move on. Um <laughs> Back again, eh? I suppose it's my fault. I told you before that I would make you spaghetti. It's only natural that you would want to see me, and the dire hope that I would make you some. Well, I understand. Papyrus is hungry too. Hungry for justice. Papyrus battle. Okay. Uh, so there's two different pacifist ways to beat Papyrus. Okay. My first is to simply lose to him three times and get captured. You'll well, ask me if you still well, want to... We're well on the rope for that. Uh, <laughs> uh, you still want to fight, and if you choose no, he'll let you pass. This is the easier way, uh, but you might miss some of the dialogue and humor from the fight. Otherwise, you simply need to outlast him. Choose the flirt action once, then wait or use items for the rest of the battle. After he does a preset number of moves, you'll get tired and you will win. You will know that you are close when he tries to do his special attack. Yep, we're gonna land right in the middle of that. Um... I can't hit it twice. I really don't know how I'm supposed to <laughs> last that. Um. <laughs> yeah, I really think lasting is just items. <laughs> the boost theory. Yeah. Your HP. Oops. <laughs> I got too into the music. Um. <laughs> <laughs> You are persistent, but it just won't work on me. I am the persistentist. And if you think you are persistent, sister, that is wrong. Grammatically wrong. Because the correct form would be not as persistentist as the as papyrus, the persistentist. I hope you enjoyed wow. this lesson. <laughs> Amazing. It's a note from Papyrus. If you're just looking for a place to stay, just ask. You don't need to fight me. Your host, Papyrus. Another hot dog cut up. He's very nice, at least. Very gracious host. Yeah. Love hot dogs. <laughs> I don't know about the kibble, but, you know... My rainbow oh, the children at my door. The children at my door. <laughs> it's not Halloween. No, but there are neighbors. Oh, hold on. Do I... Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. We are taking a hold, partially so that I can drink water. Um. <laughs> So yeah, um, <laughs> I will say accessibility is very important in gaming just because of this. Um, <laughs> although not being able to see blue is not my problem here. Um, <laughs> hmm. 
he is very ambitious. Like, I'm supposed to be his admirer. How dare he? I just want my date. We could have spaghetti. Although, that may be the only thing we have. Um, or it might be the only thing he can cook. I just want to be his friend. We can be friends and do puzzles together and pet dogs together or something. Run around in this weird little small town inhabited by monsters. Guess I'm the weird one on that one. Being the human. Um... I should have had some topics prepared. <laughs> Let's see. What can we talk about or what can I monologue about? back <laughs> yay i ran out of topics um <laughs> <laughs> um our so we have two different sets of neighbors that mm -hmm. both have chickens and uh they bring us eggs um because my mom does like nice things for their children which is mm -hmm. hilarious because you know what my mom's anaphylactically allergic to <laughs> oh no <laughs> But she doesn't tell them because she thinks it's really nice. I mean, it is. And the rest so of you eat eggs, of, so. Yeah, let's see, the rest of us get free eggs. That works. So that's, what the, so that's what that was. Well, I'm glad you got some eggs. Yeah. <sighs> All right. You're back again? I finally realized the true reason why. You just miss seeing my face so much. That's it. I'm not sure I can fight someone who feels this way. But mostly, I'm getting really tired of capturing you. Let's not fight Papyrus. Okay. I guess I'll accept my failure. Yoo hoo hoo! I can't even stop someone as weak as you! Nadine's <laughs> going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant! What should you say? Let's be friends, or what a loser. <laughs> Let's be friends, but also, oh my god. <laughs> really? So. You want to be friends with me? I'd like to point out, like, he's not fighting us out of the goodness of his own heart. Let's not taunt him about it. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first date. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone! Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all no. monsters. He is. Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer. Can I, I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> oh, that's not yours. <laughs> I mean, technically it is his. It's the, the poop bag for the leash, but you know, <laughs> not in his mouth. Yeah. <sighs> 
All right, and we have gone past the snow. Oh. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome, she's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the <laughs> last thing it heard over and over. <laughs> and over. <laughs> the sound of rushing water <laughs> fills you with determination. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? I think we should. Yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here. I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Whoops! Watch where you sit down. You you can't hear it. He just had to sit on a, a whoopee cushion. <laughs> Sometimes weirdos put whoop whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Do you want fries or a burger? I think to honor Maya, we should get a burger. All right. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of Berg. Try to get that sweet Berg. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think of my brother? Is he cool or uncool? Mm. Cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool, too, if you wore that outfit every day. <laughs> He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh, well. At least he washes it. And by that, I mean he wears it in the shower. <laughs> One way to wash your clothes. Mm -hmm. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yes or no? Uh, yes. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops! Perfect, I love that. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry Aww. anyway. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yeah, it tried to kill us earlier. Yes. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Not the talking flower I was talking about, but you know. Um, yeah. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Bad flower, bad flower. Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Demon flower. <laughs> well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you put the bill? It's just 10,000 gold. What? <laughs> Oh. Just kidding. Grillby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. I think 
before we leave, we need to talk to Papyrus. But also, I want to save, too. Maybe we can go on that date. Yes. Let me date him. He's perfect. So you came back to have a date with me! You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. My house! This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit at any time. Aha! Interested in my f food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers, all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. What? Catch that meddling canine. Curses. Sands, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. My brother always goes out to eat, but... Recently, he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary, non-egg substance. How absurd. There's an empty pie tin inside the stove. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down, move it. Okay. You moved it two inches, move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back! Okay. It's still here! Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! Ooh, it's my favorite game show! It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this! This is just a bad episode, don't judge me! You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. We got 20 gold. Feel like that's stealing somehow, but you know. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yeah. Inside yes. the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. <laughs> inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You oh, decide yeah. to stop. The door is locked, and that's Sans' room. I don't need to know what is going on in there. Nope. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones. Mm. Welcome to Scenic My House. Enjoy and take your time. That's my room. If you finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Uh oh. Go inside. <laughs> <laughs> too fast, too fast. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing else for us to do. <laughs> what, you don't want us to bone? Yeah. <laughs> In his race car bed. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. <laughs> That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, yeah. I cruise while I snooze. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for the theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! I was gonna say Santa. <laughs> Maverick. 
Isn't that flag neato? Undine found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world? Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> I mean, is he technically wrong? That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count! Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Hmm, wonder who that must be. I'm still stuck on the I'm a dozen away from a double-digit <laughs> follower count. <laughs> <laughs> negative followers <laughs> yes <laughs> there are no skeletons inside my closet except to me sometimes look at the closet all right sure clothes are hung up neatly inside so um if you've seen everything do you want to start the date Shall we begin the date? Sure. Okay, dating start. Dating start. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press your controller's X button for dating HUD. Wowee! I feel so informed! I think we're ready for step two! Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes or no? Yes. Really? Trick question. Wowie! <laughs> I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. <laughs> no. Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Yes or no? <laughs> uh, sure. No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No! Your dating power! <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will! I can easily keep up with you! You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? I love it or I hate it? <laughs> um, I love it. No! A genuine compliment? Does he want us to be mean to him? I'm confused. <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, don't. what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with A. Eh, let's take a look at his shirt. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. I just said dude. Yes. <laughs> with enough room for it to say cool about it. Yes. My hat? <laughs> my hat. My hat! Yeah! Well then... Oh, you said my ass, and I was like, oh wow, okay. <laughs> you found my secret! I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present j just for you. Open it or don't. Uh, open it. It's for us. Do you know what this is? Of course, or no idea. 
it, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's right! You have no idea! Though this appears to be spaghetti, this ain't any plain old pasta. This is oh an artisan's worth work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There is no way this can go any further. Eat it or refuse to. Eat it. You take a small bite. <laughs> Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking! And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Ah! Ah! No! We kill them with the power of date. It's clear now. You are madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, oh, no. Papyrus, I... Um... Boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you were very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, gotta go! <laughs> and Sans will not come out of his room. Oops, not what Did I wanted he? to do. He's Isn't he at work? In theory. Alright. Uh, well, uh, let's go to the save point, and then I think we should end here for tonight. I think we got a good okay. amount done. Um, yeah. Even if we did get turned down by Papyrus. Bad. <laughs> Our one true love. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, next stream is Tuesday, um, normal time. We're doing Shibuya, right? We're doing, yeah, 428. Shibuya Scramble, um, because, uh, Thursday we'll have no stream, the Tuesday after that we'll have no stream, and then we'll be back in theory on Thursday. Um, yes. so yeah, uh, we'll have Shibuya next, uh, on Tuesday, and, um, yeah, I think that's all I got. Um, so... Have a good night, everyone. Wash your hands, wear a mask, get vaccinated, and we will see you guys in a couple days. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.